Welcome to today's class. Today we have this nice exponential equation before us here. How do we solve for the value of x? By special, you can tell that x is 4. But if it's an interview, how do you solve this? Easy. So let's go into today's challenge. So here we're going to have solution. All right, so we can rewrite this left-hand side of the equation according to the law of indices. So this can be written as our 2 to the power of x times 2 to the power of minus 1, which is equal to 2x here. Right? Because the basis are the same, so we can add the exponent. So x plus minus 1 will give us x minus 1, which will take us back to that, right? So we're going to take only one of the base number, right? So again, we can rewrite this as our 2 to the power of x times 1 all over 2. This is all over 1 also. This is equal to 2x, okay? So we want to eliminate this. We have to multiply both sides of the equation by 2. So if we do that, we're going to have this to be our 2 to the power of x all over 1 times 1 all over 2 times 2. There we have this to be 2x times 2 also. This, this leaves the system. So we now have 2 to the power of x is equal to our 4x here. Okay. So like I said before, the answer to this is just x is equal to 4. By inspection, how if I, if I put in 4 here, this will give me 16. 2 to the power of 4 is 16, and 4 times 4 is 16. So 4 is the answer. But again, if it is um, a common entrance exam where you have to show your solving how to get your x to be 4, how do you do that? That is the essence of the video. So from here, what do we do? We want to um, divide both sides of the equation by 2 to the power of x times Four, because we want all the terms carrying x to be on one side. So yeah, let's divide through this by two to the power of x times four. Equally divide this by two to the power of x times four. Okay. So let's watch out here now. What we do is easy. Let's explain this very well. This very guy here, we cancel this guy here. This four, we cancel this four here. So we we'll end up having our system here to be one all over four. This is equal to, here we're left with our x all over two to the power of x. All right? Good. So let's proceed. Since we're having our constant term this way and our variable this way, let's move this to this side of the equation. So we are arranging this now implies that our x all over 2 to the power of x is equal to 1 all over 4. Wow. So what we do here, it is easy. We can rewrite this denominator here. Remember that if we have um, e to the power of ln of a, yeah, this will give us our a. Okay? So because this, this will go with this, right? So we can rewrite this expression. So this will now give us our x all of our e to the power of ln of our 2. Put this in bracket to the power of x. Yeah. This will be equal to 1 all of our 4. So everything we have here is the same thing as this. So here yeah, we apply the law of logarithm, which says that if you have the ln of uh, let's take our a out of the power of b, move this to this side, to give us our b times the ln of our a. Okay? So we want to apply this to this exponent. Move this to this side. Uh, sorry, to, to this side here. Okay? So if we do that, this is going to give us our x all over our e to the power of our x times the ln of 2. Okay, ln of 2, everything equal to 1 all over 4. All right, 
Let's eliminate this division sign by moving every time we have a denominator here to the numerator. Is that possible? Yes, it is possible. So this is going to give us our x times our e here. Minus will come in here. So we have a minus x here times our ln of our 2. Close bracket. Everything equal to 1 all over 4. Let's continue with this side again. What so this gives us. All right. We can figure out something here, right? Because we are having this e raised to dx, and we can evoke the lambda wm function. But before we can do that, what does it say? So that we know what to do here first. It says that if you have, I like using a star, okay? If you have a star times our e to the power of a star, then we take the wn function, this is going to give us a star. So what is the condition given here? Here, the base must be equal to the uh, uh, power. So they must be the same. Now, here we have x, here we have x. But here we have minus ln of 2. So, but we don't have that yet. So how do we introduce that to this side? We multiply by minus ln of 2. And as we do that to the left-hand side, we must do it to the right-hand side. So doing that, this will now give us here our minus, minus ln of 2 here times our x, okay, there times our e r to the power of minus ln of x to our 2 or ln of x ln of 2 rather, rather, this is equal to, we do same thing to this other side of the equation, which is 1 all over 4 yeah, times what we multiply by this side, so minus, yeah, but let's put it in bracket, ln of 2, so bracket, let's man manage the space here, okay, so, so from here, so right it is going to have this to be our minus um, x, the uh, ln of our 2, those brackets, uh, times our e r to the power of minus x into the ln of 2, right? Okay, let's, this is equal to, we are going to have our minus ln of 2 all over 4. Easy. So we now have this equal to this. I go ahead to take the Lambert NW function, then it's going to give us here the WN of this system here, minus x ln of 2 that times our e to the power of minus x ln of 2, so bracket, close our bracket, equals to the WN into our minus ln of 2, or we want to economize the space here all over. Oh, so here we're going to have this. Uh, this now implies our minus x ln of 2, those brackets, equal to the wn function of our minus ln of 2, those bracket, bracket, all over 4. Oh. Easy. Okay. We are looking for x, so we divide by minus ln of 2. So divide by minus ln of 2, equally divide this side by minus ln of 2. So this goes with this, this goes with this. So we now have our x is equal to, right, so minus our w n, okay, then into our minus our ln of 2, close bracket here, all over four. There we can put our ln of two in here. Okay, so we are having this multiplying this. So from here we have taken nice solution to this uh, uh, challenge here. Okay, but for us to get the simplest one, which is a four, we have to take our n to be a uh, minus one. So we have here four four n equal to minus 1, we're going to have our x will now be equal to minus w uh, minus 1 all over ln of bracket 2, okay, then into our minus ln of 2, 
those bracket bracket all of our four and if you put this into your wolfram alpha calculator this is going to give you four so our x is equal to four to satisfy the original equation and so this is how you solve for this in case of an interview or entrance exam where you are to show your work okay so if you learn something from this video tutorial give the video a thumbs up and if you're not clear with any of the steps applied here then drop it in the comment section we will reply to your comments remember this is online mass tv and all of us at online mass tv we love you so much keep watching online mass tv until we meet you in our next class keep winning bye for now